2009. Uh, she currently resides in Elmina. She's a certified health and wellness and spiritual uh, healer. And she's going to share with you uh, so many things. But one of the great things is that she became a Ghanaian citizen in 2016. So let's work on the good. to the divine creator, Mother, Father, God, and those divine ancestors whose hands we hold to guide us and whose shoulders that we stand on to support us. I want to say a quava to all of you. I'm extremely honored to be here to welcome you. I have been a citizen of Africa my whole entire life. I started walking when I was six months old, and they said that the first thing I did was get the pots and pans out of the cupboard and start beating them and started dancing. And my grandmother professed it to my mother, you've got a jungle baby. Well, that was the African in me right then. I have always, always felt the spirit of the motherland, not really knowing where my home was. So I started in search. I started in Nigeria, and then from there I went to South Africa, only to discover that South Africa was only a means for my training with the world-renowned Credo Mutua, who was my initiate father, and had initiated me as a Sangoma. First African-born female initiated into the Zulu tradition. <laughs> so he gave me the name Merita Men, Nom Vulu Zulu, Shortened for Mama Zulu. Yeah. <laughs> so I like to say that I came to Ghana in 202, the very first time. The moment I stepped foot off the plane, I knew that this was my home. It was like the gulf of the energy of the ancestors just grabbed me. And between 202 and 209, I became here permanently, and Ghana is now my home. This is the only place, and I've gone through a lot. I mean, I've come through civil rights. I've seen my people gone through many stripes and many wars and many revolutions. But this place is the only place that I've ever had peace. Mm -hmm. The only place that I've ever had peace. So if you want a better quality of life, I encourage you to come to Ghana, not only for the material wealth that we have here, because you know Ghana is very, very rich in resources. That's why all the Asians and all the other non-African people are coming here because of the resources. So don't allow other people to come and inherit your gifts. This is your home and this is your inheritance, the resources that are here. Ghana is a place that you can also be able to have property. Uh, we own several plots of, of land here, Oceanside. We're getting ready to build a holistic center. So this is a wonderful, wonderful place for investments. But I would encourage all of you, if you have children, bring your children home. Bring your children home to the motherland because they will not be able to grow to be the strong ancestors that we intend for them to be if they continue to stay over in America, K, 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 K. All right, so thank you again for allowing me to be with you, and again, welcome, and I look forward to seeing you all around. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.